Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Massive Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at the intensity control featured in the oscillator section of Massive and also the various modes that we can apply to this intensity control. So we're looking, so this feature we're looking at this left panel of Massive. Last week we talked about the wavetables and it kind of benefits of getting your head around all those wavetables. So once you've selected one of these wavetables in here, We've got this wavetable position, so that's cycling through all the waveforms available within that wavetable. Then we've got these modes here, so we've got this drop down menu. By default, when you initialize a preset in Massive, it's on Spectrum mode, and this is kind of like a low pass filter, really. So if we pull the intensity control down here, it kind of rolls the top end off the sound and it leaves the fundamental, so you usually get something a bit like a sine wave left behind when you roll this intensity down. And it takes all those high frequencies off the sound. It's a bit more straightforward to understand that spectrum mode, but some of these other modes are a little bit more complex. So you've got three modes here, three bend modes, bend plus, bend minus plus, and bend minus. So So if we load up bend minus plus, this is a combination of both of those other two modes. And so if I put this intensity control, double click it, and it goes halfway, at the moment, neither of those bend modes have been activated. This sort of wave, it's the same as having a spectrum mode, double click that, and it goes to full. It's exactly the same. So with this bend minus plus mode, intensity control halfway, no effect on the sound. Put it right, we're going into bend plus mode, we put it left going to bend minus mode. And what these two modes are doing to the sound, they're, they're kind of stretching and shrinking different parts of the waveform. So in bend minus mode, it's stretching the middle of the waveform whilst it's squashing the beginning and the ends in bend minus mode. In bend plus mode, the ends are stretched whilst the middle is squashed. So what I've tended to discover with these bend minus plus modes is that more complex the waveform or the wavetable you're using, the larger impact these bend modes will have on a sound. So if I load up, say, a sine wave, for example, it's a very smooth, symmetrical waveform. So it's not a kind of massive impact on the sound. If I load up something like the cicada, it's a lot more complex kind of waveform. If you were getting a wave read out of this, it would be closer to like what noise would look like. So It'll be a bit more, we can actually have a look at some waveforms like that. It'll be a bit closer to that, so whereas the sine wave is very smooth and symmetrical, some of these wavetables or waveforms are a bit more like this. So with this cicada and sound like that, you activate these bend minus plus modes. And the effect of the one of those modes is kind of much larger. So. completely change the sound. So I've discovered that you just, it's about experimentation. It's about some stuff you will just know that that's gonna be a quite a crunchy sound already. You activate the bend minus plus mode. So this duck organ. So this is in spectrum mode with a halfway. There's no bend mode being applied to the sound. It's already quite crunchy. So if I go down to octaves, It's having quite a nice impact on the sound. I noticed also some of these flenders, this this flenders wave table. It's kind of like an organ sound in spectrum mode. I activate the bend minus plus mode. And it just kind of reveals a completely different sort of tone to the sort of wave table. We don't really know what is there, so stack up some of these. Tune them maybe. Add some release.
and some chorus, some reverb. And that to me sounds like one of those classic PPG style kind of sounds, the wavetable sounds. Maybe a bit of vibrato. Classic 80s synth using these Flenders wavetables that if we reinitialize this patch in spectrum mode, sound nothing like that at all. You know, they sound like organs and then we activate the bend modes and we just get a completely different tone on the sound. So we have two types of bend mode, bend plus, bend minus, bend minus plus. So that's a combination of the two. I think the reason why you've got individual bend minus and bend plus modes is so you can have more pr precise control in those modes. In bend minus mode, we've got this full intensity control is just controlling the bend minus mode. I tend to opt for the bend minus plus because then I can just have a combination of both and, and you can automate these controls as well so you can get really powerful with so if I was to load multiplex halfway and in kind of spectrum mode if it's in halfway there so go back to spectrum mode kind of like an organ again and I notice that if I pitch this down a bit and then at, activate one of the bend modes just turns into this dirty electro bass from it's kind of like quite a thin sounding sort of organ modulate that intensity control so it's all about experimentation, but just having some of that knowledge about the bed modes and the way they respond to different waveforms can maybe help quite a bit with sound design. And the last mode that we haven't talked about is a format mode. So this is like a format filter. So and like the spectrum mode, we can predict the way that this is going to behave a little bit more than the bend modes because we know whichever sound or wavetable we have loaded in here it's going to apply that format filter to it so again format mode it's great to kind of modulate that sort of mode using an envelope or an lfo Okay, so there's the kind of modes covered there that we see on all three oscillators. Hopefully, if you were struggling with what these are all doing to the sound, that's kind of just shed a bit of light on it. Come and check us out. The next tutorial, we're going to be getting stuck into this modulation oscillator and the various different modes that we can apply here. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. Make sure you get yourself over to our website as well, massivesynth.com. Loads more tutorials on there for Native Instruments Massive and also our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. Get yourself subscribed to that. And yeah, hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.